Hi guys, so we are still at Trail Guide to the Body, um, still at the Spine and Thorax. We are going to proceed to page 187 and we're going to be um, um, presenting the 11th and 12th ribs. So have have your partner in prone position as the um, image here. Uh, therapist is trying to uh, palpate the 11th and 12th rib. Okay, so the 11, 12 ribs are called floating ribs. So if you you watch my other videos, it will make more sense uh, because they do not attach to the costal cartilage. Both ribs have a slender spear-like shape and lie roughly at a 45 angle. Their medial portions lie deep to the thick erector spinae muscles however their lateral aspects are and tips are palpable i'm going to explain which is the medial aspect and which one is the lateral aspect so this one is the medial aspect meaning in the midline that is the medial aspect and this is the lateral aspect meaning on the sides okay so the eleven rib is is six to eight inches in length and extends halfway around the body so the 12 rib can vary in length from three to six inches since anomalies are common in either the length of number of ribs, your partner's rib might not match this description. 177 for more information about finding the 12 rib. So having um, your client in prone position, you're reaching across to the body's opposite side. You're going to place your hand along the lateral portion of the ribs. You're going to slide inferiorly to the bottom of the rib cage, and you're allowing your hand to sink into the soft abdominal tissue. You're compressing your finger pads into the side of the thorax and you explore this region for the tips of the 11 and 12 ribs. So with the tips isolated, you're going to gently follow the shafts of the ribs medially, noting how they run at an angle. So to confirm, you're going to ask your question, yourself these questions. Can you feel two tips, one of which is more lateral than the other? You're going to ask your partner to take a slow, deep breath and note whether the tips of the bodies of the ribs press into your hands. Okay, looking at the information here and the image here and the position of the ribs during exhalation. Ideally, the, the ribs are designed to expand in three directions. Okay, um, imagine like the, um, the positioning anteriorly, posteriorly, and laterally. Okay, during inhalation, anterior, posterior, lateral, and superior Yet, for reasons ranging from posture to emotional trauma, few people truly breathe in this manner. Often, the breath becomes restricted to a portion of the thorax, and the ribs will move in only one or two directions. So, with this in mind, you can ask your partner to stand and breathe normally. Observe any changes in the shape or movements of the thorax. You're going to position of the ribs during um, inhalation. You see how where the therapist's hand is on the side. Here, the positioning of the um, therapist's hand is on the anterior, um, right? Where the sternum is, where the chest area. Then lay your hands on all sides of the rib cage and feel for activity in the thorax. Do the ribs more in all directions. Do some move individually. Ask your partner to inhale deeply and exhale fully. Explore the ribs and anterior neck muscles, scalenes, and sternocleidomastoid during inhalation. These muscles will tighten to elevate the upper ribs. Try these exercises with your partner seated, prone, and supine. See you guys in the next video.